Hey y'all, welcome back to The Critical. We have been working harder than ever this year to find pythons, and we have been obsessed with eggs. Six months prior to the footage you are about to see, we found a bunch of these, hatched out Burmese python eggs from old nests. By finding these hatched out eggs, we knew we'd be able to find active nests during the nesting season. After doing a lot of rigorous hikes through some brutal habitats, we were finally able to come across some nesting pythons. As a reminder, Burmese pythons are an invasive species here in South Florida. They are beautiful creatures, and it is not their fault that they're here. However, they are devouring our native wildlife. It's really sad and unfortunate, but they cannot stay. Yeah, there's like literally 40 on your hat. <laughs> there's like 40 on your hat! Where? All up on the top, oh my god! Oh. Gross! Imagine not having the nets today. Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> Look at that. Mama on eggs. <laughs> we freaking did it, babe. Oh my god. Now here comes the easy part. We just got to catch her. It's our first ever, like, mama on eggs. Oh, I'm shaking. I can't even feel the a thousand mosquitoes biting me. Oh my God. She knows we're here, so this is gonna be kind of difficult, but we are gonna get her. Oh yeah. Look at that. So normally a python that knows that we know that she's there would probably not sit still like this, but she is sitting on her eggs and there's really nothing that's going to deter her from trying to protect her babies because they're actually really good, really good mamas. Oh, wow, I can see the eggs. All our hard work paid off so much. I know. All right. Okay, are you ready to roll? Yep. She's looking at me now. Oh my God! That's our first look at, clutch. Look at those eggs. Holy crap. Look at this Kyle. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's go. We still got a fight to go though. Yeah. I got it back in. Dude, this might be a Holy, holy shit. Holy She's huge! Hold this part back right by my head. Hold on. You're good on the tail, just like there we go. Oh, she just squirted all over me. <sighs> Dude! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. I this might be a freaking 16, 17 footer. I think she might be! She's oh. huge! Oh, she could She's squeeze strong, the life dude. out of me if she wanted to. Holy moly! Wow! I'm oh so happy! My god. Oh my god! Much, 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 much easier. Oh my ah. god, she punched you. She did, she punched my face. What the f? <laughs> like I gotta say, we thought this snake was about 13, 14 foot. I think this might be 16, 17 feet. I think so. It's a pretty big snake, man. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Definitely bigger than the 15 foot. Yeah, you can just see how skinny she is, though, because all of her egg weight is gone now. Usually the snakes we see over here are much fatter. Uh, yeah, here, this here, is kind of skinny. Real skinny. If we caught this girl four or five months ago, likelihood is she would have been 120, 130 pounds. Okay, the chaos has winded down. We have subdued this python. Yeah. And uh, I will say, the second I grabbed her and pulled her off, there just kept coming more and more and more snake. This was so much bigger than I thought it was. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I am so excited to see what the length on this is. Like, I don't know. I can't measure these with my eyes anymore. Is this, no. is this 20 feet? Is this 10 feet? I don't know. Is this 75 eggs? Is this 100 <laughs> eggs? I have no idea. <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> at least beautiful. 50, because we found a clutch of 50 before, and we know how big that pile looks like. Yeah. So oh, I'm, I'm betting this is about 70-ish eggs. Yeah. That's Maybe some more. But beautiful white eggs. She must have probably laid these in the past month. And uh, she would have sat here for the next month and a half guarding these eggs until they hatch and then they leave. Relatively, these snakes are actually pretty good mothers when you uh, compare them to other reptiles. 
Wow. I can't believe this happened. Okay, so we got in contact with our bosses. And uh, what's going to happen is the research team that's in this area is going to come out and handle it from here. And uh, Megan and I don't have to hike this giant snake out. <laughs> or eggs. It's actually kind of nice. So they're going to take the snake, do a little bit of research on her. And um, we'll hear back about how big she was, how many eggs. We have uh, not taken these apart because we don't want the, want the research team to be able to research. <laughs> <laughs> It takes a lot of native wildlife for Burmese pythons to reach these sizes. I'm talking potentially hundreds of animals. If her babies hatched, the whole cycle would have started over again. That's why removing these nests is crucial for the survival of our native wildlife. On our way home after finding that python nest, we found an Everglades local in need of some help. This little fella is a green heron, which is a Florida native bird, and is a prey item for Burmese pythons. Poor baby got hit by a car and had a broken wing, so we scooped him up and brought him to the Conservancy of Southwest Florida's Wildlife Hospital. This little friend is a great reminder for us of why we're doing what we're doing and what we're protecting by removing invasive Burmese pythons. The very next day, we got out to do some rigorous hikes and explore some new areas with our good friends Kevin and Anthony. Those guys are really good at finding nests, so pretty quickly we came across another big snake on a clutch of eggs, and the very next clip is the capture footage. Here's the clutch. Yep. Wow. 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 This is our second day in a row out here, and we found another nest, another mama. Yeah, we're out here with Kevin and Anthony, Snakeaholic and Ant-Man's Adventures, and they're out helping us explore new areas, showing us some of their tips that they have for finding nests. And uh, within, what would you say, with five minutes of getting to this spot, you said there's going to be a nest here. You get over here, boom, big 15-foot female on a clutch of eggs right here. So two days in a row, we're out here removing females on eggs and doing a major service to the environment. This girl alone right here, removing her and these eggs, we're saving hundreds of native wildlife. So really happy about that. Make sure you go check out Kevin and Anthony's channels. These guys really know their stuff. So if you want to learn more about invasive Burmese pythons here in Florida, definitely go check them out. And speaking of saving native wildlife, we actually had more road saves on our way home from that last nest. We just found these baby turtles hatching. No, don't go in the middle. Don't move for us, don't move for us. There's a little baby right there in the middle. Look at these babies. There's so many cars coming. Get him! Oh, it's okay, little baby. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, now we gotta stay here and yeah, save the rest. Yeah, we have to of save the rest. I'm shaking and freaking out. Oh, these little babies are soft as they could possibly be. Little soft shells. That right there, that little spot, is where the yolk sac was attached in the egg. That's how we know they're absolutely fresh babies. We just found the nest. We're gonna figure out if there's any more and make sure that no more babies get get hit on the road today. Oh. So we only ended up finding three, and we're gonna go release them now. At least these guys are definitely getting across the road safely and hopefully they never come back to another road in their life. Go ahead. All right, here goes number one. First time in the water. Oh. oh. His first swim. Number two. He's more eager. What about you? He's still see number one. He was also an eager one. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Number one's my favorite. Woo! Yep. Bad mojitos. Bad. Open this is again. what we deal with on a daily basis. It's so bad. Check this out. So we're at a new location and we found more hatched out python eggs. This was from a monster snake. That is a lot of eggs in there. Whoa, get them out and count it out. I really want to see the rest of this burrow. It's huge. Yeah. I mean, there's just a ton of freaking eggs. <laughs> we'll have to count them. Yeah, yeah, we'll get them all out. You guys know in a second. 
four, five. Dude, this entire Nine. hole is just nothing but hatched out python eggs. Nine. And this is what we do with sea turtles when we're counting the eggs. We put them in piles of 10 because when you have 100 eggs, you kind of lose track and then that's really annoying. So you put them in piles of 10, it's really easy to keep count. One, two, three, four. So we're far. We've got about 25. So far, we have pulled out 70 ish eggs. 50, 60, this was the second one, mm -hmm. 70, 80, 90, oh. 100, 110, oh my. 100, 113 eggs that we were able to at least get out. <laughs> Holy, that is, that, that was from a very, very, very large snake. That was from a huge snake. Yeah, like an 18 footer did that. I mean, look how freaking huge that cavity is. Oh. We did not make that cabin. No, we did not. That was like that. Yeah, perfect place for them or for her. So these Burmese pythons, they tend to nest every other year, especially once they get to the huge sizes, like 16, 17 feet. That way they got time to regenerate all their mass and energy, and then they can put it back into eggs again. We're going to come back to this exact hole in one year from now, and I'm hoping <laughs> there might be a 19 footer in there. <laughs> We'll see. Yep. How, holy, 113. For reference, the 17 and a half footer you saw earlier in this video on a nest, that only had 76 eggs. If that's to tell you how much bigger of an animal this snake was. And that was eggs. a nearly 18 foot snake. It was a nearly 18 foot snake. So something even bigger than the one you saw earlier made this nest. That is <laughs> insane. insane. I bet you that was probably about a 200 pounder when she uh, was chock full of these eggs. Huh? Wow. Wow. Just look at that mound compared to Meg. Oh my God, that's a lot of freaking eggs. That it's the size of your freaking upper peg. body. It's a whole peg one day. Basically. This was only our first season targeting nests, and we were able to stop 131 python eggs from hatching. Now that we've seen a couple nests, we think we're going to be able to find a lot more next season and truly put some damage on their population. If we're able to stop all the nests from hatching in this area, we can prevent an entire generation of baby pythons from being born into the ecosystem. We remove these pythons because we care about the Everglades ecosystem and we want the native wildlife to be able to thrive. Each season, we learn more and more about these invasive snakes and learn new management strategies. As time goes on, I think we will eventually be able to truly manage the species population and there is definitely hope for our native wildlife in the future.